my name's Vin Ryan. I'm an artist and art teacher from Melbourne. Uh, and I teach in a couple of um, a couple of prisons in Melbourne, and probably more correctly, I should say that I facilitate programs for art uh, programs in Melbourne. I uh, work my, predominantly with Aboriginal artists, um, and for this fellowship, I'm looking specifically at what's happening in art programs internationally and the sense in which perhaps Australia's fallen behind what's happening internationally in places like Norway and Ireland and in the US. Uh, and I'm also looking in particular at how teachers can get better at advocating for their programs and looking at some new innovations in um, advocacy within arts, prison arts programs in America and how they're telling, letting the public know the value of uh, their programs. I also think that uh, art education is in Australian prisons is something that the general public is really, really um, unaware of or doesn't know very much about. Um, and that contrasts quite um, distinctly with uh, places like Norway, Ireland, um, parts of the US. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of opportunities to think about education. So I'm looking uh, at a, a number of different organisations, but two in particular. One in San Diego called the Prison Arts Collective. That's an organisation that incorporates arts into um, uh, other subjects such as literacy, um, criminology even, um, um, religious practice, spirituality. They incorporate things like meditation and yoga into their programs as part of their art programs. So it's a much more interactive type of program where people from a range of different disciplines uh, are included in the course so that it's a much more, I guess, a more holistic approach. So you might have clinicians, correction staff, artists, uh, and um, a range of specialist teachers in the same classroom. Uh, and I'm also looking at um, uh, a university or a couple of universities in New York that are uh, consolidating um, prison arts programs um, so that different education organisations are talking to each other. And I'm uh, meeting with a particular curator there, Nicole Fleetwood, who has just uh, curated a huge travelling exhibition um, that features artists that uh, are or have been incarcerated, but also um, contemporary artists who talk about a notion of incarceration in some way. The, the show is called um, Marking Time Art in the, in the Age of Mass Incarceration. Um, so it's very much um, encouraging students to be activists and to tell their own stories.